Hello everybody, I'm Jo and um, I, I actually borrowed from work the SX900 um, because I was doing some previous um, videos on this and um, and I've had quite, um, quite a few of you leaving comments and so I thought, um, okay, I will set it up so that you can see it and, uh, um, and I was going to talk through a few um, things about the actual keyboard so um, I'll be using the touch screen as you can see I've got it going through the television at the moment so um, right okay uh, let's have a look and um, um, so um, something that I was uh, thinking about was the um, um, about different instruments and, and that that's on on the on here so um, so uh, if we look at, at guitars, and um, so let's go into the guitar. So touching the screen, and I will go to guitar. And as you can see, you've got your your, your classical ones come up first, and then like your your vintage. So if we go to something like a um, vintage fifties vintage solo by touching the screen, so. Now, at the top of the screen, um, let me show you. Just here is is menu. So, if I touch menu, this box comes up, which basically is voice edit and mixer. So, I'm going to press voice edit. So, the box has come up, common, controller, sound, effects. So, um, so if I, what I'm going to do is press effects, okay? Now, so in effects, you've got your, your reverb, so um, quite often on different instruments, I will alter the, the reverb, but if you look at the top, just above it there's a box and it says US high gain solo so if I touch that box and what looks like an amplifier has come up and well it, it is it's an amplifier so it's it's what the sound of the guitar would be would be going through so um, so if I bring up US and, and we have a whole list of of the different guitars so so the different amplifiers so if I so if I change it to burn or riff or if I go to dirty Now, if I come down here and I go to British Lead Drive, so now we've got seven pages. So, um, multi FS distortion. Or well, I could do multi crunch. So, now that's quite quite a different type sound. So, I think, well, yeah, I quite like that. So, if I press close, it's taken me to the actual mic, um, amplifier that it would be going through. So, if I wanted to, I could touch. So, I'd, touch the sustain and you get like an orange box line go around it so now you've got your so you've got your wire pedal
so you've got different settings so um now if you wanted to so um now you could hold this delay which is quite a bit not so rough on the so we've got different different ones and it, it's great fun to go through them all and and try out different different types of settings so um So if I close that, and uh, and then basically um, up at the top, it basically. So what I could also do is change my reverb. So you can hear it completely. If you there's a, a at the top of the screen, you've got compare. So if I press. So that's the original sound, and this is what it is now. Now, I'm going to save that voice, so if I press the save button, and I will save it in my user drive, and, and it basically it says save here, and the name comes up, vintage vintage solo so that I know that I've changed that so I'll press OK and that voice is now in my user drive whenever I want to use it so now say we go to a, a different instrument so say you want to um, let's go back to preset so um, if we go to semi-acoustic and once again, so if I press menu, voice edit, um, now, now I've gone to changed it to sound. So if I so I. Okay. So cut off. And you could change all the so. now compared. Now, let's have a look and see if we go press that effects again and we go to the. So let me. So I'm going to go to um, modulation or EQ. Distortion. So this is it going through an amplifier. We could literally let's go. I'm going to go right back to the start and I'll go to mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to put it through a jazz combo. Okay, so I'm going to close it. And I'm going to save that. So save. Save here. Okay. Now let's have a listen to see what that sounds like. So if I put in a jazz and a and I go to something like a um, cool piano jazz, put on my ACMP, so from the chords. literally changing all the different different effects um, that you can get different sounds um, and different um, sounds on the actual guitars you can even try it out on different instruments and um, and see what it sounds like because it would uh, you might create a new voice that you might think oh that's that's very different so um, so I'll leave it at that for now um, it and, and uh, and I'll just basically so um, because I know this video is coming up to 12 minutes long the other thing only one other quick thing somebody asked me um, how I so how I unplug through a television so let me explain so I have a VGA lead here so here we have VGA lead yes so and that's going in the back of my television okay so i've it's so it's either going into a television um or into a, a computer screen now and so so this part is basically this is this is what connects so this is a pluggable usb 2.0 display adapter and it says display link certified so this is uh, this is what Yamaha recommended that, that I use and all I do is just put the USB socket in the back of the uh, in the back of the actual keyboard just just literally plug that into into it so um, and um, yes yeah, so it's so it's just a normal VGA lead and then on on my television I just go to mode and I bring up that I'm I'm in VGA now the only other thing that it that you might have an issue with is if you go to press menu menu 2 as you can see I'm on menu 2 press utility and on the top one the speaker connectivity you've got content now if I change that to lyric and text it just comes up saying new song so you just touch that and you go to mirroring and it's taking what's off the screen so that's how to basically set it up through through um, um, through a television or a, or a screen so it's got to have a VGA socket okay all right everybody okay hope um hope you enjoyed that one and uh i'll um um i'll probably do a few more while i've got the keyboard here all right bye for now